beyond this you have the shramanic religion the buddhism and jainism all these things can be tied on a singular issue other than the charvakas or the lokayatas and in a very important compendium of the philosophical systems sarvadarshana sangraha all these philosophical schools plus lokayata charvaka they have been described the lokayatas and the charvakas they didn't believe either in god or in karma other than this there are schools there are philosophies quote unquote religion of say shramanic religion some of them like the early part of the buddhism they don't believe in god maybe you not even in atma but they believe in karma they are a kind of renunciatory religion they want to liberate themselves from the transmigration and try to withdraw from life so indian philosophy or religions can be posited in a spectrum where at the one end at the very extreme there are the shamanic religions who are renunciatory in nature on the other end of the spectrum you have the tantric religions who believe in total involvement in this life and in between you have a plethora of schools and the most important of them they are the bhakti schools or the theistic philosophies religion which grew up from a very important movement in india indian way of life indian thinking that is the bhakti religion who don't believe in withdrawing oneself from the life as the shamanics are or they don't believe either in the very extreme type of activities that the tantrikas do so they are the real middle path that they followed at the very beginning of the entry point of the millennium we find that india was within a very thriving political system the last millennium ended with the pan indian mauryan empire breakdown of it coming of the some foreign dynasties trying to establish them some of them getting indianized for instance heliodorus establishing garuda stambha being a devotee of vishnu some of them becoming buddhists like the kushanas that was at one point another situation was india was the very hub of thriving commercial activities very important segment in the indo-romanic trade indo-roman trade now by the 3rd century 4th century ad the situation was changing a bit indo-roman trade was faltering and in this condition where the major political powers are also withdrawing themselves or getting fragmented we find that a very fierce struggle was taking place between the shamanic religion and the puranic religion who are coming back the epics are being written and in epics we find the conglomeration of many different types of elements for instance when megasthenes comes or in the writings of aryan they say that in india the cult of heracles is there and possibly they are referring to a cult of krishna so gopala krishna cult was there vasudeva cult was there narayana cult was there in mahabharat we find that these three streams they are conglomerating they are coming together and forming a kind of vaishnavite religion or establishing the basis of a vaishnavite religion same thing for shaivite cult also in this situation bhakti was coming up fiercely critical about the shamanic religion and the center the geographical locale was south india in the 7th to 9th century we find that the bhakti religions were coming up very fiercely and they were very much critical about this shamanic 
religion.